。有没有按 video？ 不是 photo。是 video。好吗？Guys, this is another review, and the review is not a regular review. The last time I did a review is of the mic, Home Max mic, for Zoom meetings. Uh, that was quite long time ago, and it's actually during the COVID, the lockdown period. So today, um, it's out of blue that I want to do this review. Why? It's just because I got a new uh, toy to play. And I'm going to show you in another review. But before that review, this review is about these two bad boys behind me. They are the Clips, the five speakers, an active set of speakers where I got it a year ago. I am here to do the review to share with you as a very leisure and lifestyle uh, user. Why did I choose this? I want to have less clutter. And yet, I want to have a uh, quality. So how did I landed with this? Prior with uh, having the fives, I was actually using an Onkyo amplifier system. Uh, it should be the three, four, three system with a uh, Jamo five point one speakers with an uh, active sub. As you can realize, five point one means. Five speakers. You have the left, right, rear left, rear right, and also the center. Point one means the sub, and mine is the active sub. I sold it more than a year ago, trying to sell it uh, for quite some time, and finally I sold it to a young boy who was buying it for his father. And I believe that he has a lot more space, therefore he is willing to purchase it from me. And because I live in a very small space, I was hunting for less clutter. Therefore, the active speakers. What are active speakers? Speakers are actually broken down to two types: the passive and active. If you are using passive speakers, means you need an amplifier to drive the speakers. When you have an active speaker, it means that the amplifier. And all the electronics and all the hardware is built into the speakers. It does not mean active speakers are better better than passive speakers, but it is a just a different kind of experience. Although these are active speakers, they are still labeled as bookshelf speakers to be placed on bookshelves or consoles in this scenario. How did I reach to the fives? I was checking out a few brands. I was checking out Q Sound. Uh, they are, I think, called Q Acoustics now. Then I was uh, checking out even Yamaha um, at Harvey Norman at Millennial Walk, and I was also checking out Denon uh, uh, Hi-Fi system. And I did not know that there was such thing as active speakers. I even went to the stage of even checking out the Devilles. And I realized that a lot of these options are very expensive. The speaker options from Harvey Norman, like Yamaha's and Denon, sadly, they were not uh, available for testing, and they do not have stock. So I was actually doing a lot of window shopping, but no stock available. And it's also because of the COVID period. Where manufacturing was at a crunch because of China closing up, so I wanted to. The first thing I want to get out is my first criteria. My first criteria was to be having less clutter. So the first place I actually went to was the distributor for Kef Kef speakers, but I went there to check out. NAD, they are uh, a company that does amplifiers, very small electronic amplifiers, 
but they do come with some speakers. The speakers are not very big. The, it cost about $650, but the speakers were so small. But going to the CAF distributors, I was drawn by the idea of the CAF LX, LSX50 wireless. They were bookshelf speaker sizes, but they, also, they were also placed on stands that can be uh, that can look like floor standing speakers of obviously with stands stands are always an uh, extra purchase i decided not to go for calves because they're pretty pricey um, at least a thousand eight hundred dollars after promotional discount but normally is in the two thousand up to three thousand or four thousand dollars range i think as a beginner as i said i'm a leisure uh, user uh, a lifestyle leisure user. I'm not an expert, but I do appreciate some. This net system was out of the picture. Cap system, out of picture. I did not know what else to go for. So, you know how your iPhone actually listens to you? And I realized that I was seeing ads. And I, re I, I realized this brand called Marshalls. I was thinking, hey, Marshalls. I had some experience of Marshalls. Once was when I purchased their headphones uh, many many years ago, and once was I was uh, testing out the system at uh, one of the departmental store. Marshalls seems great, so I went to check out uh, Marshalls' most uh, expensive portables. They are the the Marshall Urban. So the other time I'm not sure was it a. Uh, was it the Wuban 2 or 1? Currently, I'm looking at it. Now, it's uh, the Marshall Wuban 3. So, it was selling for $999. And it was, um, I wouldn't say it is my budget, but I think it's a good price to go to uh, because it's considered a Bluetooth speakers. So, I take away the amplifier part uh, to drive the speakers. I I was thinking this is a good option instead of having two sides. It's still stereo. It's just in one package. I have one unit. So I made my way and uh, I was trying to find out who were the ones who was distributing these speakers and I found out it was TC Acoustics. They are a Hong Kong based company but are rather uh, in a few countries and TC Acoustics were the distributor for Marshalls, Sonos, and speakers. I went to Adelphi to their showroom to test it out and I was approached by the manager who was running the place and his name was Shan. I was very happy that he actually entertained me because I am, I believe that uh, the best way to make a purchase is to be having uh, an informed decision that means you have all the information you need and many people who are service staff who are sales staff they they actually do not have very uh, they do not have enough knowledge to actually serve you and instead of just knowledge you need patience so these are the few things that you need as a sales staff to actually serve the customer so Shan was asking me what I wanted and I told him it was the Marshall Wuburn. He told me, was that my budget? I told him, um, okay lah. So the reason of okay lah means uh, uh, that can be my budget. He told me, would you be okay to spend slightly a bit more? And I told him, uh, what do you have for me? That's why I ended testing out the fives. We went from the main showroom to another showroom by the corner and he actually let me hear how these speakers are performing. And for me, I have quite sensitive hearing. I can actually pick up a lot of different things from different kinds of speakers. I'm not an audiophile. Uh, I think it's a very expensive hobby, but I do appreciate very, uh, very rounded audio. 
So when he was letting me test the speakers, he shared a few things with me. Although he's not a technical person, he shared with me everything he knows. From the speakers on a flat top to speakers on a small little uh, elevated positions were there a difference? I told him I could feel, I could hear it. He let me hear their famous horn technology. These horns, let me show you. These horns are made from titanium. And being a sucker for, you know, being a guy, uh, things like carbon fiber, titanium, you get very excited. And I thought, what's the big deal about titanium? He let me try the difference between titanium and non-titanium horns and I could hear the difference. And I was surprised that I could hear the difference. Clips is a US, American brand and I have heard about them but I've never really dabbled in their brand. This was the first time. The color of tea of the speakers, uh, this is the Heritage series. This is the Heritage series and it looks very well made. And the whole process of uh, learning from Shan uh, made me feel very confident that these speakers were the one. After testing out these speakers, I did not purchase immediately. What happened was, I went for a walk, I went to Millennial Walk and I went to still check out other speakers. For example, Blue Sound, Bose and what other, what other uh, commercial brands. And although I know that 5.1, 7.1 are amazing speakers, I was not going for the sound bar look. I finally decided to get a stereo bookshelf speakers, the active ones as what you see here, the fives. Simple, no amplifier and this is what you see. Furthermore, this speaker comes with a lot of connectivity from Bluetooth to the different kind of cables behind. I'll show you how it looks like behind. And with Shan's explanation, he was explaining that any speakers that have this number, uh, not number, this type of connectivity, uh, the cable, the ports or whatsoever, it somehow explains to you that how good or professional or ready this set of speakers are. Don't be fooled by the size of the speakers. The bass is amazing. I am, this set of speakers are hooked onto my Xbox and my TV. And every time I watch uh, Netflix, YouTube, and even Disney Plus, all sound come through here. And I do not need to set it every time. Every time when I switch on the TV, the speakers would wake up and the connection would be already done. That's why these speakers are awesome. So I am going to let you hear how this speaker sound and how I feel after one year of usage. Okay, so now uh, I've chosen some music to test and to set the stage uh, in the sense that uh, how this will not be, it will be less biased or not as, the, the least biased that it can be is every time when you test a set of speakers, you should be using the music that you have always been listening so you understand what the music is supposed the song is supposed to sound like I listen uh, quite a number of songs that has not much singing but when I'm going to test the treble and the vocals I'll use an uh, audio song so because this is YouTube and I cannot use copyrighted music I'm using music from Infraction okay I'm going to the first song is actually uh, uh, lo-fi music those guys, you guys who know is a uh, a lot of youngsters like to listen right now. It's lo-fi music, so let's listen to this lo-fi music first. Then after that, I will play uh, another track, which has some vocals.
Okay, so now you guys can actually hear what I played. I played two songs uh, which is modern, lo-fi and electronic uh, songs with beat. And the third one was actually a very short vocals from my favorite, uh, one of my favorite movies. But it was sung by a very uh, a senior singer from Taiwan. Let me show you what is the package that comes together, that came in a package. I'm not sure, can you see how huge it is? I'll give you a better uh, angle of this. Okay, so this set of speakers comes in quite a big box. It comes with two set of speaker covers. So just now you saw was these speaker covers, this, this set. Check out how it looks like, okay? So there are magnets at the end, okay? And it's branded very nicely over here, clips. So these are the darker ones. You can see actually black, beige of brown and white weave together. Okay. The other one is more of a um, very light beige. I'm not a very fan of this color because it gets dirty. And just for you guys, I'm going to open because it's still new. Just like this. Still have the magnet. Okay, so this is how it look like. Now, on the other side, this is how it would look. So on the right side, how it look like. Yep, the box is actually very simple. A box that comes with the two speakers. It comes with the connecting wires. And I realized that I still have some wires, the power wires. I even have the USB, the USB and connector. I don't know. It's called the USB cable A to B. Yeah. Then you also have. This is the instruction manual, which I don't think I'm reading. Do understand if you guys are technical people. This is a controller. Very simple, and it's matte in color with the branding clips. It's using AAA battery, two pieces of it. So, let me add to what else I want to say. If you guys are looking for a technical look of this, to be honest, all the reviews you Google for clips, the fives, everyone is going to tell you everything technical. What is the ohms, the resistance, you know, how many frequency from high to low. I'm not going to tell you that because you can find it on Google, you can hear it from technical people. You watch this video because you are just like me, a lifestyle and a, a end user who is not an audiophile but enjoy good sound and music. So this is my review on why I bought this and how I bought this. And I would love to tell you that with TCA's support of warranty, and they also do give you um, some credit back into your account on their app. You can continue purchasing from them and have discount on the next item based on the credit that you are uh, actually collecting on the app itself based on your account. So because of these speakers, I have uh, accumulated $50 credit and I realized I've not told you how much I paid for this. So the retail price is actually one two nine nine, but when I was purchasing it, it was a one zero nine nine. 
I realized that the price has always been hovering around this. There is a chance to get it at 999. I think I've seen it before. If you guys see at 999, it is a good deal. I, I'm not sure how you heard the sounds. Do you enjoy it? Do you think it's great? So, frankly, I would rate these speakers as very adequate for a small home to anything with the size of about a three bedroom why because as you can hear just now when the volume went up it got very big because as the volume goes up it does not go up racially it goes up exponentially the speakers were at 85 percent the bass you can actually adjust it it was set at 80 percent and my handphone the song was playing through the iPhone it was actually at 20% and I increased it all the way to 40 to 50% when I jacked up the volume to let you hear how powerful that it could fill the room so I'm ending the review here I am excited because I have another set of speakers which is radically different from this and why I purchased also one of the ultimate reason why I purchased this set of speakers is because I couldn't solve space issue but now one year later after using these speakers uh, I'm still not tired of these speakers but I have made a radical decision and I'm going to show you in the next video in the next review bye